Uh, obviously, you got to give Maryland credit. Uh, they played well, and, and we did not. Uh, we've had games in the past where we started slow on offense and our, and our defense uh, kept us in the game long enough, long enough for our offense to rally, rally, rally back and vice versa. We've had games where we've, uh, we've played well on offense early and, and struggled on defense. We haven't really had a game where we didn't play well uh, in either phase early on in the game. So um, obviously we, we got to get those things corrected. There's a lot of things that we got to get corrected. Um, ultimately, uh, it's my responsibility and uh, we'll, we'll get to work on it on Sunday. So I know you guys got a lot of questions. Uh, open up the questions. First question will go to Mark Brennan and Audrey Snyder. You're on deck. James, I think you gave up uh, over 19 yards uh, on every third down or on the third down completions uh, in the first quarter. Can you explain what was going wrong there? Was there a lack of preparedness or did they hit you with stuff you weren't ready for? Well, I think I think obviously when you have uh, big plays like they were able to have, it, it it skews the stats. But I think your 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 point is is more than fair. Uh, they made made they made big plays. Uh, we weren't as competitive as we needed to be. Uh, we were out of leverage. Uh, they had a few little wrinkles, uh, you know, to challenge our man coverages, and um, and did a nice job of of executing them. Um, so uh, we got to we got to get better. There's no doubt about it. We got to look at the tape, make the corrections. But um, you know, we we were not competitive er early on in the game. Audrey Snyder and Rich Scarcelli, you're on deck. James, was there any consideration given to maybe pulling Sean, whether in that third quarter or late in the game? Um, if not, why? Yeah, you know, uh, for me with with starting quarterbacks, you want to. You know, do everything you possibly can uh, with your starting quarterback to to give them a chance uh, to be successful and and to rally the team. The guys in that position, obviously, for for a reason. Um, you know, in, in the second half, you know, we we still still felt like we had an opportunity to go out and and get this thing swung in the other direction. And at the time, uh, you know, at the time, we felt like it was the right decision. Rich Scarcella, Dave Jones, you're on deck. James, you said that you weren't competitive early on. Why is that, especially after opening the season for the Boston? Say that again. You, you said that you weren't competitive early on in this game. Why weren't you, especially after losing your first two games? Yeah. Uh, they, they, they made plays. Uh, they were able to stay on schedule on, on first and second down and create a bunch of manageable third down situations. And, um, and we're able to, to do that really for the majority of the game. And, um, and then offensively, we weren't able to get the running game going, which everything builds off of that. And that's, that's been a, that, that continues to be an issue for us. Dave Jones, New Bias, will James, be around uh, one trademark of your teams is I mean I, I can't think of a time really when your guys weren't spiritually didn't seem spiritually ready to play uh, is, is that your opinion that, that they weren't ready to play or do you disagree with that um, yeah I, I can understand after watching the game you know why you would you would ask that question uh, during a week uh, I felt like we did the things necessary um, to come out and, and play well wasn't perfect, uh, but we've had issues in, in the past that, that we've uh, been able to overcome. And um, you know, based on based on you know what you watch today, I could understand you know why you would say that. But um, during the week, you know, uh, is typically how, how you can tell that, and um, you know there, there there weren't signs of that. New Bias Wilborn and T. Frank, you're on deck. Coach, um, you've talked repeatedly about the running game. It seemed like there was what was going on in the ball running game. Yeah. You're, you're mumbled I'm there, sorry, Bias. I'm sorry. Let me, let me with, the game, game, with the running game, with the running game, what was going on? What there, was going on there? That you guys were able to get any traction. Yeah, you know, I we gotta I gotta watch the tape, but but we weren't sustaining blocks. Um, you know, we weren't 
we haven't been able to break tackles consistently and make people miss consistently. It's it's been similar for the first couple of weeks. We're not getting consistent push. We're not sustaining blocks, um, and and then obviously we're not breaking tackles and making people miss. And then you know we're not able to put people in conflict with the RPO stuff because there's not enough respect and concern for the running game right now. T. Frank followed by Tyler Donahue. Hey James, going off of that, uh, you have mentioned that Sean's been putting a lot of tough situations over the last two weeks and he's been put under pressure quite a bit uh how do you feel he's performed under pressure and how do you separate the two when you're evaluating your quarterback yeah i think again i think you know we got to be able to get the running game going and we got to consistently protect our quarterback there's there's too many times there's too many times where he's under pressure and getting hit uh, early in games he's been hit way too many times this season he's been sacked too many times this season he's been under pressure too many times and does that have an effect yeah it does um, uh, but obviously there's some throws that we need to make um, you know it's all of it it's there's some catches that we need to make we all we all own uh, responsibility in this Tyler Donahue Neil Rudell you're on deck James, I understand your point on on taking Sean in from the first question there, but uh, under a new offense, he was not in any of the backs play in a game in the direction. Is it imperative to see the eleven to take one of those or any other guy that's on the paper to get those reps under first direction so that you can evaluate that group as a whole now and moving forward? I'm I'm having a really hard. Can you evaluate the backup quarterbacks and getting them into the game? Uh, yeah, Will Will has uh, you know obviously played in the past and has has, has done good things and and Taquan continues to improve. Um, obviously, based on you know who has started and based on what he's done in his past, um, we felt like again he's he's earned that that right. Neil Rudell, Audrey Snyder on deck. So you guys have really had your way with. Uh, the last couple of years, few years, do you feel that you guys may have underestimated them, or uh, just how do you assess that? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think we've underestimated anybody. We, um, you know, when 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 you when you haven't been successful the first couple games, it's hard to be underestimate anyone. So that's that's not you know how we've approached it. Our approach hasn't changed. It's been the same approach as it's been for six years. Um, but, but obviously there's things that we got to get fixed and there's things that we got to improve, uh, and, and we got to play better. And we've, we've, you know, kind of lost three different ways. And in years past, uh, we found different ways to win games and, um, you know, we need to get it fixed and we need to get it fixed fast. Three more questions. We'll start with Audrey Snyder, Mark Brennan, you're on deck. Is your defense has given up, uh, Five touchdown receptions of 26-plus yards in the last two games. What needs to change with this defense? Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch the tape to get into the specifics and the details with you, but but we got to get uh, more pressure on the quarterback. we got to contest more balls, uh, be better in, in tight coverage. Um, and then, you know, when people do make catches, we got to get them on the ground. And, uh, you know, we got to consistently wrap. So... Uh, you know, obviously, you know, going through this tape in great detail um, and make corrections will help. Mark Brennan, and the last question will go to T. Frank. James, how would you assess the play of your offensive line? You went with a lot of different personnel there. Was that you thinking you have good depth, or was that you looking for answers to try to get things going? Thank you. Yeah, a little bit of both. Trying to. Uh, you know, find the right the right mix of, uh, of personnel in there, um, and and you know guys that have done some good things in practice um, deserve the opportunity to get in there and, and, and get some get some reps and get some opportunity to see if we can find the right five. And last question, T. Frank James, how hard is it to make a comeback in a game if at a certain point you have to abandon what you want to do and philosophically the idea and the identity of your team at a certain 
Well, we, we've, we've had to do that in the past, you know, that, that, that happens for, for a lot of teams where, um, you gotta, you gotta change your style of play. And, um, you know, we, uh, we, we weren't able to do that, but that that's going to happen. You're going to get down by points. Hopefully you can keep it close so you don't have to change dramatically. But if you can get down, if you get down by, you know, obviously, you know, 21 points or more, depending on the point of the game, um, you know, it, it forces that, it dictates that. Thank you very much, Coach.